everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Today in the video, we're going to try a dry fly for you. I know I don't tie a lot of dries because I don't fish a lot of dries. Um, mostly nymphs and some wets, but I have to have dries in the box because you never know when a good hatch is going to come off. And uh, olives are pretty common, so I'm going to tie this in an olive keller. But um, don't be afraid to use other kellers because this is a generic style fly and uh, tie it in different colors and we carry these uh, turkey bite quills in a lot of different colors so it gives you a lot of different options I'm actually going to be tying this in an olive and uh, like the brown olive would make a really great color and there's a lot of different options in it to choose from so you're going to use the same technique just a different color quill and uh, they're pretty cheap too that's another great thing about the quill so you get a lot of different options and we even have a variety pack with a bunch of different colors in it so give that a look uh, I'm sure you're gonna like those they're a little bit to get on to but they're not hard and they make a nice body so anyway sit back and watch and uh, I hope you enjoy this Okay, here in the vise you can see is a really good example of this. We're tying this as a blue winged olive. And uh, this will be a, just a great imitation of it. But change the colors and you're going to have a different fly. So let's get our hook in our vise. For our hook, I'm going to be tying this on a Trudda Goods size 14 old man style hook. Uh, really nice hook. I like this. A little bit of an upturned point on it which holds the fish better and uh, it's just an all-around nice hook so we're gonna start our thread on next our thread is a 140 denier in brown use a gray black whatever and uh, next thing we're gonna put on is some cocktail on and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to separate out about three or four fibers here I, I want to keep this real thin because we're doing a competition style fly and everything is thin on competition flies so we're gonna take about three or four of them and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold them like a 45 against the hook okay and I'm just gonna tie it loose get a loose wrap on there and then as I pull it tight it will pull right up on top right where we want it to go and then I'm just gonna get it to the length we want it and there's about the length you want it about the same as the body so, we're going to come up here, we'll pull off our tag, and then the next thing we're going to use is this turkey quill. Now, the turkey quill you're going to see here has two sides to it. One is the quill, which I've been using, and we're going to use in this. The other side is a bayet. So, you can actually use either side of this, or you can use these bayets on your legs, on your nymphs, or whatever. So, don't throw this away thinking it's not useful. There's a lot of uses for it. It's nice long bites. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut one strand off of this side. So I'm going to just cut that off here. And then what we're going to do is you can see, hold on a second. I got two here, not one. There we go. There's a fat end where it attaches to the stem and a skinny end. We're going to tie it in by the skinny end. And where I'm going to do it is I'm going to tie it in about a third of the way up. By doing that, it makes it a little bit stronger. We're just going to wrap it back to the tail. And then we'll pull this off. Okay. And then we're just going to put our hackle pliers on that quill. And we're going to wrap it forward. So the first wrap or two, you want to be kind of loose. If you pull too hard, that'll break really easy. So make two or three softer wraps, tight enough that it holds it down, but soft enough you don't break it. And then just keep wrapping up side by side wraps. Yep. Now, I just pulled it, pulled it out of my hackle pliers. It's not a big deal. We're just going to get our hackle pliers back on there and continue to wrap this back up don't ever fret when something breaks just go back and do the step over again that's all it's not a big deal 
Okay, now we're going to tie this off. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of wax on my thread. We're going to build the thorax of this fly. Oops. And for the thorax, I'm just going to wax my thread, and then I'm going to take a little bit of squirrel dub, and I mean a very little bit. And I'm going to touch dub my, th my thread. Okay, you can see how there, I just touch dubbed it on there. I didn't make it real thick. And uh, just whatever will stick pretty much. And then I'm just going to lightly, lightly with my fingers, dub that on there. I want it to stay buggy. And I don't want it to get real thick. Okay. Now, what, by doing that, I built up a little bit of a ball there, which is going to hold our CDC feather up. Next thing I'm going to do is use a CDC feather. This one is a Dunn colored. And it's a full feather, okay? You can use a puff. Puffs work great for this too. So puffs are a little bit thicker. And I'm just going to pinch all the fibers out to the end, okay? And then I'm going to hold it above the fly where I want them to go. And I want them to go just past the body of the fly, just to the tail. So I'm going to hold it there where I want it. I'm going to switch fingers. We're going to make a loose wrap, or two, okay, and then make sure we get it teased up there where we want it on top, and then we'll pinch it down tight. And there, and that's where we want it. Now we'll just trim this off, and then I'm going to touch dub just a little bit more dubbing on there, just to make a nice head on this. Okay, this is going to give us buggy, leggy look in the, in the thorax here. And it's going to tease those feathers back where I want them. And then we're just going to come up here and whip finish. And I like to make like two whip finishes with about three wraps is what I usually like to do. And I usually don't add any glue to this. I figure I'd probably lose it before that thread will break on me, so. There you go. That's all that's to tying this nice little fly. It's easy to tie. It only took me a couple minutes, and I hammered out a really quick, nice little dry fly there. So give that a try. I'm sure you're going to like it. Hope you enjoyed that. It's an easy pattern to tie. It just takes a little bit of practice to get onto. Those quills tend to break sometimes. And uh, just start over. That's all that's to it. There's a lot of quills on that. And uh, also, don't be afraid to flip the other side over the quill and use the buy it. The buy it will also make a nice body for you. So there's two options on there to use. And uh, like I said, they're a really good deal because they're really cheap. And you get the quills and the buy it's. And the buy it's you can use for tails on your nymphs or you know, your wing case on a Prince Nymph, whatever you want to use them for. So it's a good option to have in your, you know, in your collection. If it, just don't let it get out of hand like mine here. But uh, give these a try. They're going to catch your fish. And don't be afraid to try them in different colors like I told you earlier. So anyhow, tune into our social media outlets like Facebook and Instagram. If you want to be updated on things at the shop that's going on at the shop, uh, get on there and like us on Facebook. On Instagram, I share a lot of my patterns. So a lot of flies that I'm just messing around with the vice with. And uh, don't forget about Bugs and Beards. We're going to have some exciting news coming out real soon for Bugs and Beard. I know I told you a couple weeks ago. But uh, it's real soon. I don't want to release the news yet. But you'll like it if you're into that kind of stuff. And uh, just like I said, just keep watching back for that. Until next time, guys, please get on and the website and order anything you need off of there. If you want to get a hold of me for a guiding trip or maybe to speak at your local TU chapter, if you're on the East Coast here especially, uh, get a hold of me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com and I'll get back to you and we'll see what we can do. And uh, if you have any shop related questions, hit us up at contact us at wholesingersflyshop.com. Until next time, I'm Sean Holsinger.